So we're here uh, just outside our pen in, in an area that has been transformed uh, for temporary accommodation for refugees from within Ukraine who have moved from the front line, from the warring zone, uh, to more safe havens. Um, the regional administration um, has built these temporary units, put them together, stuff that has been provided from Poland. Mikita, you work with the regional administration. Can you tell us a little bit about what's happening here, how many people uh, are, are, are contained here? Absolutely. Uh, so these modular houses were given to us uh, in the support of the Polish government and currently we have more than 400 residents living here. Most of the residents are the people that lost their own houses, own flats in Irpin city because of the Russian aggression and occupation period. Uh, but also we have the people from eastern side of Ukraine, from Donetsk region, from Donbas and also from the south part such as Kherson that was also occupied, that was occupied by the Russians. And we as the administration and together with the city council we provide all of the facilities to the people we provide them with of course uh, this uh, temporary modern houses we provide them the electricity they don't pay for the bills here because we do understand the situation and for us is the priority to do everything to renovate their houses so they can come back and live in their flats